For this problem, we're given some information about a particle, and our job is to figure out what the initial velocity of that particle is using some kinematic equations. So here's the problem as it's presented to us. We're told the acceleration in the y direction is 4, and that's constant. The velocity after 2 seconds is 2 in the x direction and 2 in the y direction. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that in a way that's a little bit more easier for us to digest. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight first the idea that we're going to start with figuring, figuring out what the initial velocity is in the x direction. So I've highlighted those boxes, uh, or highlighted those variables, uh, as we see them in this kinematic equation. So I have uh, final velocity was 2. Initial velocity, we don't know in the x direction. So we're just going to say v naught x plus, well, a naught, or the, initial, the acceleration in the x direction was 0, so I'll say 0 times uh, t. t was 2, though it hardly matters since it's being multiplied by 0. That's going to tell us that v naught x, or the initial velocity in the x direction, is 2. Now we're going to do the same exact thing, but for the y direction. So we have the final velocity in the y direction is 2, or sorry, 2, yeah, 2. And the initial velocity we don't know in the y direction. We're going to say plus uh, initial acceleration, or the constant acceleration is 4 in the y direction, and then we know time is 2. This allows us to solve this equation. We're actually just going to write this as 2 equals v naught y plus 8, uh, which means that v naught y equals negative 6. So the velocity in the x direction is 2 and the velocity in the y direction is negative 6, or at least the initial velocity. So we'll say initial velocity would be 2 i hat plus, uh, or rather minus, well you can say negative 6 j hat. And that is your final answer. In the last problem we found the initial velocity of the particle. Now we're told after 2 seconds its position is found to be 4, negative 4. And we're asked to find what its position was at t equals 0. So let's start out by first writing down what we know. We know that the final velocity in the y direction of the particle was 2. That's from this part of the previous problem. We know that the initial velocity in the y direction is negative 6. That's from here. And we know that the final position in the y direction is negative 4. Um, we also know that the final velocity in the x direction is 2. We know the initial velocity in the x direction is also 2. And we know the final x position four. So how can I combine all of the, this information to find this? Well, let's remember one of our kinematic equations that said this. So I can think of um, our distance d as the difference between our final position and our initial position. So let's do that for both x and y components. So let's start with y. So I can say negative 4 minus y naught equals my v final y plus v naught y over 2 times t. But here um, t is going to be 2 because um, by the time that we've gotten to our final position in the y direction we know that we have traveled two we have traveled for two seconds. Okay so let's um, put in the rest of this information that we know and solve for why not. So I can cancel out these twos, and I'm left with two, but it's um, plus negative six, so I'm just going to write minus six, and that's going to be equal to negative four. Um, and so if negative four minus y naught equals negative four, I know that y naught has to be zero. Okay, so let's do the same thing for um, our x component. So I can say my final position in the x direction minus my initial is equal to v final x 
plus v not x over 2 times 2. Again, I'm going to cancel out these 2's. So what I'm left with is 4 minus x naught. Then I'm going to substitute in the numbers for these. And so what I'm going to get is I'm going to get 2 plus 2 over 4. And if 4 minus x naught equals 4, then I know that x naught had to be 0. So the particle started at the origin, 0, 0. Here we have the continuation of a problem where we were given some, never mind. Here we have a problem where, no, don't look over there. That's fine. Here we have a problem where we're trying to figure out the initial position of a particle where we're given some, some, uh, here we have, I'm an idiot. Here we have a question about a particle where we have some given information about it with, with, with regard. Ugh. Can't talk. Here we have a problem about a particle and we're given some initial conditions about that particle. I guess these aren't initial conditions. Here we have a problem about a particle. We're given some information about that particle with regards to its uh, acceleration, its velocity, and its position after two seconds. And our job is to backtrack to figure out where that particle's posi position is at zero seconds, back at its initial position. So we're going to take all this information. I'm actually going to rewrite it in a way that uh, is useful to us. So I'll say uh, a x equals zero. We have no x component acceleration. We have a uh, four y component acceleration. The initial x velocity is two. The initial y velocity is not just 6, but negative 6. And the position at t equals 2 will say x of 2. x of 2 is 4, while y of 2 is negative 4. We're going to take all these numbers and use our kinematic equations to get an answer for x naught and y naught. Those will be our initial x and initial y position. That's our goal for this problem. So let me swap, swap colors. We'll start with the x, x, x stuff, so let's we'll take all of these numbers in this box and put them in the appropriate place here. Remember that this is position at t equals 2 seconds, so that's going to be our value of t down here as well. We're going to do that for both of these equations. So we have uh, 4 equals, we don't know, x not yet, a plus 2 times 2, that's our t, this is our v not x, plus 1 half ax is 0 and a t squared would be 4, although it doesn't really matter because again we're multiplying by 0. Let's do the same thing for y, we'll solve this for, this, we'll solve this for x not in a minute. Uh, the final position, the final resting place of y is negative 4. Don't know the initial position for y. We know the velocity in the y direction is negative, I don't know why it says v not f, but it should say v not y. Let that be a lesson to Benny, make sure you read your good. Okay, um, the initial velocity in the y direction is negative 6. And again, time is 2, plus 1 half. Acceleration in the y direction is negative 4. And then um, after 2 seconds. Now that I have all the, both of these equations, I'm going to use these equations to solve for x naught and y naught. I'm going to start with this guy. This equation can be rewritten as 4 equals x naught plus 4, which ends up telling us x naught is 0. Uh, we have negative 4 equals y naught uh, minus 12. 4 squ 2 squared is 4, times negative 4 is negative 16, divided by 2 is negative 8. Uh, and I'm solving for y naught, I add 20 to both sides, so I get y naught equals 16. So the initial position in the x direction is 0, the initial position in the y direction is 16. So you could say uh, x equals, or x naught equals 0, and y naught equals 16. And that is the answer to that problem.